Good morning, everybody. This is Pope Binary, and today I thought I'd discuss what are out of the money trades, which is my personal favorite type of uh, trading style. Um, before we get into this, obviously, risk disclaimer: don't don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. Uh, this is no indication uh, of any future success. Yada yada. It'll be in the description. So let's get into it. So what are out of the money trades? In Nadex. Uh, the way it works is out of the money trades are trades where basically you bet the opposite of what everybody else thinks. I've discussed this uh, in another video in briefly, but uh, I thought I'd devote a video to explain this to y'all. So in Nadex, if you bid fifty dollars, uh, the maximum you can lose is whatever you put in, right? So if you put in fifty, you can lose fifty, and you can gain fifty. If you put in seventy-five, this would be considered an in the money trade. Okay. So an in-the-money trade is where you basically agree with ev what everybody else is saying. So 75, if you bid 75, if the current price is 75, that means 75% of people are putting $75 on the line. But if you lose, you lose all 75 and you only get $25, right? So if you do the math there, that's a 3 to 1 inverse risk-reward ratio. I never bet above 75 because, quite frankly, I don't think I'm smart enough to win uh, one, three, three times out of every four. Um, and so when you get into in the money trades, uh, what they are is basically you bet the opposite, right? So if you bet $25, what that means is you can, you have the potential to win 75, but you only lose 25, right? So that's what I consider an in the money trade. It's a, uh, three to one risk reward ratio. Okay. Now, the dream setup, and I'm telling you, I've done this quite a few times in the past. If you, if all your indicators are lining up and everybody thinks the market's going to go a certain direction, you can actually get all the way down to $10, right? You can get all the way down to $10 to make $90, but you'd only lose $10. You see what I'm saying? And generally, when I place these type of trades, and I'll explain this a little bit later, but when I place the in the money trades, I always wait for the expiration time. Because even if I don't, even if I place a take profit, um, I, I don't believe in take profit trade, take profit orders for these type of trades because you're only risking a very small portion of your account. Um, and so, I don't know, if you just think logically, it's better to risk less to make more than it is to risk more and make less, right? Um, and so this is the basic premise behind out of the money trades. Um, and so you can, you can see why I like them so much. Cause I love obviously seeing, seeing myself turn, uh, I've turned a hundred dollars into $950 in the past. Uh, that is what ex is exciting to me. Sure. I do place a lot of in the money trades, which are considered safe trades because quite frankly, these opportunities don't arise often to make these out of the money trades. Um, but when they do, you make so much money. Um, and so now I just basically want to, I want to go into what makes these, what makes the money, right? What are out of the money trades and why, why can you make, make them work? So basically I just want y'all to think about candles with large wicks. Those are the real money makers in this game that I think. And a lot of people don't capitalize on these candles with wicks are huge. Okay, so what this says, if you see a can, if you see a candle finish like this, um, what this means is at one point this green candle was completely filled right here. It was all the way up here, and it was a completely filled green candle. Okay, um, but by the t when it expired, it dropped all the way back down here. So while this price was up here, if you put a stake right here, if you said and you can get these stakes for extremely cheap because they're out of the money trades. If you put $25 on the line saying, I think it's going to drop below here, and it does, you'll win $75. Um, basically, you just go against the hype that everybody else thinks is going to happen. Um, and so, obviously, it's the same for these type candles because um, uh, these are a little trickier to read. I only bet on these at support and resistance levels uh, because it's really hard to tell if something's going to end up looking like a doji. Um, but these, you, I just need y'all to process this. Candles with wicks are how you make lots of money because they they end 
what they're not appearing to be, if that makes sense. Like, because at one point these candles are completely all over the place, right? But they change direction drastically in the period of that five. I trade five minutes because this works best on five minutes, by the way. Um, and I'll get into why it works best on five minutes later. But like I said, if these candles, they drastically change in the five minute period. So if you can predict these changes early on, you can make tons of money. And I, I just want you guys to remember, 90% of traders lose money. So just because you see you see the bid and ask price, if they're like expon they're they're just completely all over the place, don't pay any attention to it. If up here people say that there's a stake right here and it's ninety dollars right, and you're like, oh shoot. It's $90. I might as well bet up, right? You would be wrong. You would be wrong. Because, like I said, 90% of people lose money. You have to take that into account. So don't just go with what people, like, what the bid and ask prices are telling you. Because that's not how you make money. Um, and like I said, if you don't understand any of this, look up Nadex and it, it'll it'll make a whole lot more sense. Um, and so, like I said, this is just an extension of the previous slide. Uh Basically, when a candle starts, it always starts out neutral, right? Um, so it'll start like looking like that, right? Um, let me get a black here so y'all can see. Uh, it'll start looking like this, and then if it if if between the start and finish of the five minute period, it could look like this, but it could finish like this. You see what I'm saying? Um, and the same is true, obviously, for all of this. Um, I think you can you can you can follow along here, but. Candles with wicks is what I'm trying to get, or how you make out of the money trades. Um, and so, why do out of the money trades work? Why do I like them the most? Um, for one, you risk less money to make more money. Um, in traditional day trading, uh, you can the the rule of thumb is you want to have a three to one risk reward ratio. With Nadex, you can control that so much using these out of monies. Because, like I said, if on bids, it would be 25, and and uh, ask the the offer price right. It would be a uh, 75. Okay, so if you put anything below 25, you have above a three to one risk reward ratio, and the inverse is true for uh, the ask prices, right? And so, like I said, the, just the way Netix is set up. Another another reason this works well is the way Netix is set up. It uh it actually uh supports you taking riskier trades because it'll pay you more, um and quite frankly I think I don't understand why Nadex is making money. I understand they've got the ninety cent spread on everything, but surely people are figuring this out. Like I don't know. Um, another thing is common sense. Like I said, if you can just basically predict the opposite of what everybody else is saying, you're gonna make so much money. Okay, and I know it's easier said than done, but Come on, guys. Like, if you just see a bunch of your indicators lining up and you're like, this market should not be rising. Why is everybody betting that it's going to rise? Just bet against it. And if you, if, if, it, if it works, then good for you. But if, if even if you lose, you're not going to lose a whole lot. Um, and if you're consistently losing, then change your indicators, right? Um, and so the, the last two reasons are crucial, especially in the five-minute time period. Why do they? Why do out of money trades work so well? Because human emotion, you can capitalize off this so much in five minute periods. Because everybody is out there trying to make money, really quick money, and they like if they see the market starting to rise, they immediately bet up. They immediately bet up. But you can just capitalize off that and just basically take their money, right? Because Nadex is a net zero system, so if you lose, somebody else wins, and if you win, somebody else loses. You can just, it's like taking candy from a baby. If all these inexperienced traders, they, they can't recognize certain patterns. Like if they see a double top or whatever, and that they think the market's going to continue shooting upwards after a bearish confirmation signal, like if you, if you even know what I'm talking about, but like if you understood that, you know what I mean? Like, Experienced traders can just bank off emotion. This more than anything, because um, I don't know, like Nadex, the way it's set up, it just works so well for for playing the, this type of game. And like the the reason I think this works so well is in traditional day trading, right? When you day trade, if you if you short a stock and it rises, you can lose your entire account if you don't close the trade. With Nadex, you only lose whatever you put in, which is why it works so well. 
Um, and obviously, with anything, you have to have patience, especially for out-of-the-money trades, because these things don't happen that often. And you really have to wait for your indicators to line up, because there's a good chance it won't work, and then you're just basically throwing away $10. Even though you're risking less, if you're risking less and consistently losing, you're losing money. So, you, the, like I said, a good 70% of my trades are in the money trades. They're considered safe trades. But when I see my indicators line up, I bet against them, right? So, I thought I'd just share that with you all. That if you know anything about me, I love out of the money trades. Um, and I think you guys really need to play along with this. So, uh, just subscribe for more, and I'll keep you all updated with what I'm doing.